we edit the host file on a Macintosh computer. First we need to go to a terminal window. So we go to the Finder, the Go menu, then click on Utilities, and then scroll down if necessary and double click Terminal. This opens our terminal window. We're going to zoom in here a little bit to make it easier to see. Now uh, we need to edit the host file which is located in Etsy Hosts. So we type sudo nano to enter the nano writer slash Etsy slash hosts. Now we have to enter our password. Correctly. And you can see that we're in the host file now. There are a few entries already there. We're going to want to leave those alone and arrow down past those entries so we don't mess up the system while it's booting. Um, and once we get to a clean line, we're going to enter the IP address of our testing server. In this case, we're going to pretend that it's 123.123.123.123. And the domain is mydomain.com. Uh, we can also enter additional IP addresses and domain names if we want to, but we just need this one. So we're going to press Control O to overwrite the file. Notice it says file name to write Etsy host. That's great. So we press Enter. And then Control X to exit the writer. We can double check that that's correct by using that same command. And sure enough, that entry is still there. Uh, now to complete our uh, additions. We're going to need to clear the DNS cache so that uh, the computer can load the new entry from our host file. So we're going to use the command sudo killall and dash hup m dns responder and we press enter and that clears our DNS cache and now our computer will load that website from our uh, host file. We revert these changes the same way. Uh, we use the sudo command, sudo nano etsy hosts, scroll down, delete that line, press control O to overwrite, and control X to exit, and then use the kill all command to wipe out our DNS cache. And now we'll load that site from the internet just like everybody else.